Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2024-03, including Maven and general improvements, improvements that have been added since the last release in December 2023, three months ago. Support for Java 22, which will be released one week after this Eclipse release, is not yet built in, but a preview will likely be made available via the Eclipse marketplace, probably sooner as usual. There are a couple of Java tooling improvements that are already available and which might be helpful for you. For instance, for methods, there is the new refactoring make static, which can also be invoked by default via the shortcut Alt Shift K. If the method accesses non-static elements, such as instance fields or instance methods, Make static adds an additional parameter and updates the caller accordingly to pass the reference of the instance to the refactored method. By the way, the compare editor now shows the number of differences in the header line on the right. Another Java tooling improvement helps to avoid resource leaks. As long as the resource will be closed in the method where it has been created, everything is fine. But if the logic is distributed across several methods, it can become infinitively complex to analyze the code for both humans and the Java compiler. The solution is annotation-based resource leaks analysis per method, similar to the annotation-based null analysis that you may know. To enable it, in Project, Properties, Java Compiler, Errors warnings. Check Enable Annotation Based Resource Analysis. And make sure that the JDT annotations have been added as dependency. With that, the ownership of a resource can be handed over to a method by annotating the corresponding parameter with owning. whereas a method that is annotated with owning returns a resource for which the caller is responsible for closing it. Annotation-based null analysis and annotation-based resource leaks analysis go well together, don't they? There is a new formatting option for switch statements or expressions to align the arrows to the same column. In the Formatter dialog, in the section Indentation, Align items in columns, Check the checkbox Arrows in Switch Statements Expressions. For Maven, there is also a new preference and a new project setting. In the Preferences, Maven, User Settings, you can specify your own tool chains. And in Project, Properties, Maven, you can disable automatically update Maven projects configuration, which should only be needed in very rare cases anyway. And for those rare cases, you can now do it only for the needed project, instead of for all of them as in the past. Apart from these Java and Maven specific improvements, there are general platform improvements as well. On Windows, Windows Defender slows down Java applications significantly, which is an issue known for years that unfortunately Microsoft has not fixed yet. As a workaround, the Eclipse IDE will now check on its first startup whether Windows Defender is active, and if so, will prompt you to exclude the current Eclipse IDE installation from being scanned by Windows Defender to improve performance. In the Preferences, General, Startup and Shutdown, the Windows Defender Exclusion Check can be disabled for all Eclipse-based installations. Windows Defender Exclusion affects security. In any case, be careful which additional plugins you install. In the Preferences, General, Content Types, for a content type like XML with more than one associated editor, the default editor can now be chosen, which was missing in the past. 
Speaking of XML, in XML files opened with a generic text editor and in the Maven POM editor, you can now switch to the WTP XML Classic theme. Have you already noticed? The tab of the Active Editor, or the Active View, is now highlighted with a coloured line in the Light theme, just like in the Dark theme. This makes it easier to recognise where the focus is and the typing goes, doesn't it? And on Windows 11, the Text Editor font now correctly defaults to Consolas, which is a nicer font than Courier New, isn't it? You can now also configure whether the view titles should be truncated, if there is not enough space, and whether the view titles should be displayed with or without icons. In the Preferences, General, Appearance, check Always Show Full Titles and or Hide Icons. And last but not least, if in the Package Explorer or in similar views, for instance a folder contains more than 1000 elements, only the first 1000 elements are initially displayed, and you have to click for more. This avoids a sluggish user interface. In the Preferences, General, you can now change the initial maximum number of elements shown in views, if you want. The limit is not limited to trees, but must be supported by the view, which might not yet be the case for every view. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release March 2024. Thanks for watching and happy coding!